Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Painting Han. Today, I'm going to share with you how to paint Jinko leaves in the base. Reverence image here looks so beautiful, right? But then, I don't want to follow the same composition. There are too much stuff, so I want to paint only these flowers, glass and flower. Um, and leaves. For this painting, I'm going to use archi paper and I have cadmium lead, uh, scarlet lake, bone sienna, and pyrrole bean, and uh, vermilion green deep, cobalt green. Okay, brush uh, here and I'm start by drawing with the 2 H pencil first. Draw a face first. Next, draw some stems and branches, jinko branches, and I want to um, make uh, this painting composition look like uh, triangle composition, and also jinko leaves shape um, look like uh, triangle, and then I want to put a small flower in the uh, center. And another jinko leaf here and there. So I don't want to follow the uh, reference image. So open your imagination and yeah, you can create some uh, leaves and yeah, flower. And first, uh, I'm going to uh, start with the um, dry brush. Get some orange, and I I got some orange color, so uh, yellow mix uh, scarlet lake color, and start with a very watery color from the jinko uh, leaf area, and next get some a uh, little bit of the orange color, so put on the add on the. Uh, edgy lip area I didn't wet the paper before this uh, brush straw so just to get some color directly put on the jinko lip area. This area I wanna uh, add some orange, uh, yellowish orange color, and for the stem, take some. Uh, Bonsena makes orange color. So I want to paint each branch uh, leaves a little bit of the uh, different color. Some part uh, try with the yellow color, some part uh, leaves uh, with the orange yellowish color. Yeah, for the, this area, I'm going to try uh, yellowish green uh, leaves. So I mix yellow and green color. So a little bit, I get 
light a green color put on the jinko lay area. Add some orange color to uh, the uh, edge of the lip area. Switch the brush. I use a tiny brush. I uh, draw some branch. It's kind of a stem. Take some petal loop in color for the flower uh, pattern. Okay, move on to the glass area. So take some uh, yeah, vermilion green leaf. Uh, mix cobalt green so very first time for the glass uh, take some very watery color put on the glass area it's uh, like uh, outline it but then and then uh, with the cream water dilute the, that color Take some Bonsena, put on the glass uh, center area. There are a little bit of wet the paper, so that color brand a uh, little bit. But then I like uh, that kind of effect. Add some uh, little bit dark consistency of color, thick color. Yeah, here for the uh, branch, take some thick consistency of uh, pyrrolubin, the mixture of pyrrolubin and bonsiena color. Next for the branch. And put, put some green color put on the branch area. Now I'm using the dry brush. Yeah, look at that. The uh, dry brush effect. A little bit of the uh, very um, uh, dry and it's not connect the lines. For the glass, uh, take some very watery color, put on the glass area. I want to make the shiny area. And then I want to uh, make some glass thickness. Throw some more branches in the water and just uh, in the glass. Make sure the uh, glass shape with the green color. For the table, just to, uh, put some green color, very watery color, and then I wanna uh, 
give them some of the shadow from the glass. Finally, I am gonna um, use the spreader technique with yellow color and with green color. And uh, I want to use the spreader technique for the uh, top side area. And finally, in detail for the um, branch, with some full consistency of the color. Okay, we are all done this painting. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time. Bye.